Hi everyone, this is a video showing you the Merriest Moments bundle. Um, so this is the stamp set. And the dies are absolutely amazing. Um, they have a lot of intricate dies. And they also have these framed dies as well that work really well. So um, what you do, there's one that's just slipped out. Um, what you do with a framed die, there's a stitched rectangle there. Um, so with the framed dies, you can actually uh, use them with the embossing folder. So if I just show you here, um, if you want to make uh, this one, uh, you can you can either just use the embossing folder, uh, first of all, just to emboss. So if you just put that through like that and closed it up with a 3D uh, pad um, cutting plate, um, an embossing plate, you would get that. So then if you actually take the die and you match it up on the embossing folder and it should just slot in one way or the other, let's see, get it the right way, it will fit in. There you go, that's fitted in. I put a piece of cardstock on top of that and that will cut and emboss at the same time to produce that. Um, that can go then either just straight on top like that or it could go the other way if you wanted to show a little bit um, underneath so that I'll put straight on top like that excuse the fireworks going off in the background and then you've got the more detailed die and the best one with this one is to cut first and then you place the cut image on the embossing folder and run it through and emboss it uh, you cut with the 3d um, plate um, and you emboss with a 3d plate and then you get this and that can either be put on exactly so that you just have a small amount of the colour coming through behind or you turn it the other way round and that means you get more colour coming behind. So that's just explaining the embossing folders um, and the cutting plates and so on. But then we come on to the stamp set and there's also a lot of just by way of passing very detailed dies as well as you can see here uh, and they cut out all those stamped images and you've got three extra little flowers as well. Um, so a great set. So I'm just going to put that away and I'm going to actually put it back in the case to make sure none of those dies get lost. So the cards I've been making with it. So this is um, a card I found, I cased from a YouTube video from one of the other demonstrators. You stamp all the bits of foliage and berries and so on behind, stamp at the bottom of the stitch rectangle, put a sentiment from the stamp set, tie some rib around this is on dimensionals and this is an autumnal version done in I think it was cat and craze and pumpkin pie and garden green and this is some copper uh, twine that we don't actually do anymore this one I've actually cut out the embossed image um, and um, I've actually coloured it with my blender pen using the ink from the top of the ink pads and the flowers are stamped out and die cut, as are the holly leaves as well. Uh, this one I've um, used Smoky Slate and Blushing Bride, and this is from Wonder and Whimsy uh, Designer Series paper. The snowflakes are from the Snowflake Wishes uh, dies. And I've inked up the sentiment with Blushing Bride, and then I've sponged Smoky Slate behind. This is one that we're doing at my class on Zoom next week, uh, the class kit. And to join the class is £10 and the following week I'll be doing it in person here at my house. So contact me if you want details of that. That's one of the cards we're doing. And this is another card we're doing, uh, a Z Fold card. And then we'll be doing two cards with the new Eden's Garden bundle. So two of the merriest moment, two with Eden's Garden. So back on to the One Sheet Wonder for today. Ruth Trice, um, she's the One Sheet Wonder queen. Um, I've got inspiration from her. She did a video similar to this using a whole sheet of cardstock with Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay. I think there was a bit of yellow in those pear pizzazz as well. I'm doing a half sheet wonder because then I don't have so many bits and pieces of similar colours to make like about 10 different cards. So this is one that I did yesterday uh, in fresh freesia, pale papaya, mint macaron, soft sea foam. Um, and I made these cards. So this is a happy birthday card. So the amazing thing about this set is it doesn't have to be for Christmas. Uh, so this is a birthday card. This is a get well card. Feel better friend. Um, and then I did 
a sh half sheet in uh, balmy blue with pear pizzazz and some so saffron. So this is a Christmas card or a cheering somebody up card saying joy. This one is heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you from a sentiment from Quiet Meadow. 3D the flowers and the leaves and there's the background which has been put through uh, the die cut of the um, cut and emboss machine with the textured embossing folder. And here's another one I made covering the embossed area with a two and a quarter strip of balmy blue cardstock and then the um, half sheet wonder uh, piece cut out on top of that. And then I've just done a Facebook Live on my Fanny Stafford's Happy Stampers. Do request to join that if you'd like to uh, doing this. But YouTube aren't letting me save. Well, Facebook aren't letting me save the video to post on YouTube. So I'm doing another video to post on YouTube. This sentiment was from this set, which I haven't used nearly enough, called Heartfelt Wishes. Great for diagonal cards, as you can see. There's a simple one there as a diagonal card made with a stamp set. So without further ado, let's get stamping. So I'm using Very Vanilla because I'm running a bit short of basic white and I have got a class class kits to prepare for next week and the week after. And my order won't be coming in until next week. So I must make sure I've got enough to make the class kits. So that's why I've decided to go for Very Vanilla. So what we're going to do is I'm, I, I start with the largest flower. So I'm actually going to be a bit daring, I think, and go for Blackberry Bliss. So let's see how we go from here. So here's the Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going to stamp it twice. And do it in various different parts of the card. To get a bit of variety and then that bit, that one up there like that. OK, and I might just do a little bit down here. Like that. OK, so that's the first largest poinsettia in Blackberry Bliss. And I thought that I would team it up with Cherry Cobbler, which is going to be interesting because this is a slightly purpley red, I would say. So let's see what it comes out like. So. Hmm, like I'm liking that. Unusual. Oops. And then I think I want one more over here. And that's probably about right. Perhaps another one just here. OK, so that's the second flower. Now I'm going to... I use Delicata Gold Ink, which we don't actually sell anymore uh, on my face, but live. But I'm actually going to use Mango Melody, I think. It's a colour I haven't used in a while. I'm going to use this for the centre of the flowers. Let's see what it... Oh, yes, nice and bright. There's still a little bit of gold left on my stamp, which is no bad thing. So let's just get some of that gold with the Mango Melody. Uh, I, I don't mind having some gold on Mango Melody. It looks rather nice, I think. So let's just speed up a little bit. I haven't yet got into editing my videos, so please forgive me. If this seems a bit slow, but do you know you have the option of speeding up the speed to 1.75 or 2.5? So that's the tiny little one done. And now I'm going to start on my green. So I decided that I would go for soft succulent and then that I would go for probably for evening evergreen. So let me just do the... Um, <clears throat> soft succulent first so that will be this one and see what this comes out like amazing thing about it's very forgiving to do a half sheet or a one sheet wonder because by the time you've cut it all up you don't really notice the mistakes which is great so and then I will do, I think, a little bit over here and a little bit up here and there we go. 
Okay, so now we're going to come in with the evening evergreen, which will give a dark tone to it all. And I've got to decide whether to use the little one or the big one. I think I might have a little bit of both. So let's see where we can fit this large one. I can definitely fit it in here. And I can probably fit it in here. You do want to get things going in slightly different directions when you do this. Uh, up, down, sideways, whatever. So I'm just going to put this underneath here and do this. Like that and probably another one there and one down here. I did have a piece of plastic over my um, st stamping mat, but it seems to have disappeared. So, And then I want to do one up there and perhaps one up here. OK, I'm happy with that. Right, I think it needs something to sort of lift it a bit. So I've got some little berries here and I'm just having a quick think. I think I'm going to do them in the Mango Melody just to brighten things up a little bit and make our colours slightly different. So this is a new one, introducing holly berries to a half sheet wonder. But I think it will just add some needed extra colour. Um, so just put one there and one there and one there. Don't want too many really. There we go. So that's uh, interesting. I like those colours. So now I'm going to do what I did on my Facebook Live video. I'm just going to cut this in half. This is very much regal colours here. Um, I'm going to cut it at um, three and three quarters by five and a half. So this could be the front of the card. So I'm just going to do the five and a half probably here and cut off some of that, which is sad, but it has to be done. So now I've got to decide, I'm just going to do this quickly and stick this on a piece of cardstock. So I think probably it needs to go on the Blackberry Bliss, but let's have a look and see what we've got. I have got Blackberry Bliss here. And I think that's, yeah, that's definitely a classic colour. And because of, the, I'm glad I used the Mango Melody for those little berries because it just gives it, lightens it, lifts it off the page a bit as it were. So this is a very quick and simple card here. Uh, I am enjoying these half sheet wonders because the, the variety of colours that I'm getting is very interesting. So I can just stick that straight on there and then all I will need is, so stamp and seal is very quick for just sticking something. I've got to decide whether I want it that way or whether I want it that way and I think that I would like it that way. So if I just put that on like that, and then I just need to find a sentiment. So this is very much off the cuff. I'm just quickly digging out. I, I keep my spare pieces of very vanilla um, in a bag. I have a bag that's full of my basic white and very, oh, there's one thing I have forgotten. A little bit of crumb cake with this stamp. Actually, do you know what? I think I'm not going to use crumb cake. I'm going to be a bit palatial here. And I'm going to use the Delicata just to give a bit of extra bling. So let's see what this comes out like. So I have got a bit of a gap here which needs filling. And then I've got a gap there. So this very useful little stamp here which just gives an extra bit of interest. And I think I want a fifth one, which will probably need to go about there. And a little bit perhaps over. Mustn't overgild the lily, as I'm always trying to tell myself. And perhaps just a tiny, tiny bit down there. And I think that's enough. OK. So now I need to do my sentiment. So I'm actually going to take the season's greetings, I think. And just use that. 
so I'll just pull that off find a spare block the wonderful one of the many wonderful things about getting these card kits is you end up with lots of acrylic blocks which is fab so I'm going to do this in Blackberry Bliss uh, to make it stand out a bit make sure I've inked it up properly and stamp it like that You'll see, do you see how beautifully that's stamped so just crisp and clear it uh, when you've been stamping a while, it, you just are really, really pleased when you have stamps like that that stamp so easily and so effectively. So let's just put that there. I've recently picked up a really good tip that the tailored tag punch is really useful for quick and easy uh, making little banners. So the advantage of this, I mean, I love this banner's punch, but if you've got a shorter piece, it's quite difficult to get it down right down to the bottom. Whoops, sorry about that noise. But the tailored tag punch, this piece is nearer to the top. So you can even do uh, this V shape in. That's one. So I could just do it like that. And in fact, I think this time I will just let, oh, I did do that in the right way. So just decide where I want it. I think I want it there. Could put something behind it. Um, but I think that I'm actually just going to stick it on easy, quick and easy like this. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals on the back. One, two, three. One, two, three. And stick that straight on the season's greetings. Probably I could put it. No, I'm going to put it more to the edge just to make it look slightly different. And there you go, season's greetings. Now, just to finish that off, I think it might be nice to have a little strip of colour underneath. So if I can find, which I may not be able to, a sort of mango melody, which I have. If I had a scalloped die close to hand, uh, saying that, actually, I have a scallop punch close to hand. Just find it. Here we go. We don't sell these anymore, sadly, but I'll just use it anyway. And then uh, pull that back. And then just need to cut this, make it into a strip. So if I do that and then just cut this down. Do it like this so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to cut this bit off like this. And then I'm going to cut this down so that it's just a thin piece. Um, I learned this from the Love Santa tag kit. They have these lovely little embellishments um, that just went underneath. It was amazing. And I just thought, what a good idea. So I'm just going to cut this to fit, see if that's going to fit underneath. Yep, that would be perfect. So all I need to do now is uh, put a little bit of Tombow on, trusty Tombow, and stick it underneath like that. Put it more up this end, I think. And this is the lovely thing about Tombow is that you have wiggle room. Do you see how that just lifts it up a little bit? which is really good. So there you go. There's the finished card. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Bye.